Hey! And we're back in round one. Uh, we lost the die roll, and we're waiting for our uh, opponent. Shall we say hello? Uh, sure. Okay. Wow. Um, boy, I don't know what to do with that. I don't really want to keep it, but I don't really want to mulligan. We have all the mana we could need, all of the colors, and keeping hands like this, but I almost want to say let's just keep it. Game uh, one. We can try it. Get to know the deck a little bit. See if our deck shuffler's on our side this time. Yeah. Instead of a jerk. Okay. Not helpful, but... It'll be nice eventually. Yeah. Not a very aggressive hand for the aggro deck. No. So, in retrospect, yes, I suppose we should have mulliganed. Oh, yeah. I think we should have now. Oh, well. Well, on turn five, we've got a 4-4. Four -four. <sighs> yeah. Interesting. He doesn't have anything either. Okay. Oh, come on now. Uh, do we want to do that? And then we can always sack it for a card. On turn four, we've got a 4-4, four -four, so that's okay. Okay. Hey, look a creature. Hmm. Do, we wanna, do we wanna drop the 4-4? Four -four? Yes. Yes, I think we do. Okay. That sounds good. Hey, it looks like we're playing a mirror deck. Uh, yeah, it looks like. So next turn we can, uh... We can drop the Gloom of Battle and, uh... Nice. Swing for five. Uh, yeah. Depending what he p drops, or we could, um... Give it four. vigilance and swing for four. And yeah. drop the flyer. Ugh. That's bad. So, what does that mean? It means... We either pay five every time or he dies? Yeah. Looks like he's just going to die. I'm not paying that. You don't want to pay it and swing with him once? Get in and let him die? Um. Okay. I, we don't have to. We can just let him die and drop the flyer. No, maybe we do. He hasn't actually dropped anything dropped yet. Because we're getting in for... And then okay. next turn we can let him die and drop both those creatures. True. If he hasn't played anything by then, maybe we do pay it and then drop the Pegasus and keep hitting him for four. Fair enough. Yeah, that's not as bad as I thought. It's still... Annoying. Yeah. That's really... That's worse It looks than like our opponent's just as flooded as we are, though. Yeah. Which is okay. Let me... His name is Flying Codpiece. 86. 80, oh, pardon it me. the 86th Flying Codpiece. Very important to note. Or isn't 86 a thing in the restaurant biz to mean you're out of it? I have it? no idea. Uh, three fourth hexproof. Okay. I feel confident swinging into that. Mm hmm. He may have a giant's growth, but uh, but you know what? <laughs> I don't care. It will kill our creature and get it out of the way. So. No. Uh, undo. Undo. Top button. Sorry. I had to keep that white. Up. Yeah, for the Pegasus? Yep. Sure. Is he going to block? I don't know. 
This should be interesting to see. This is a weird game so far. Very weird. Kind of interesting though. Apparently he's not blocking. Okay, cool. Works for me. I guess it's kind of good that we had all the mana. I still don't think I would keep that hand again. I don't think so. We just really got lucky, I think. Yeah. We got lucky that our opponent seems to have very little to do as well. Now. Detain. What are you detaining? I'm sure he's going to detain them. I think he's probably going to detain the flyer. That's possible. I guess we'll find out. Yep. That's cool. Now, here's the question. We can blood rush on top of this. Can we blood rush and still pay the cost? Yep. Okay, let's do that. Or we could play out the stone. Plus one, plus one, and double strike. Okay. Well, that's gross. So he's just leveling the field now. It's till end of turn, thankfully. Yeah. But he, yeah, he's going to take us down to 12, too. Oh, he's going to kill our creature with it. Okay. Okay. That's fine by me, because I was going to say, do we want to just let it die and then drop our other stuff? Hmm. Sure. I guess we don't really have a choice. If you hadn't detained this, we could now trade with that. Grr. I'm sure that was his plan. Yep. Alright, well, we don't have to worry about paying for stuff, which is good. So... Hey, look, more land! Because land. Alright, we can't attack with this. Unfortunately. Six, seven, eight. So we could. Six, seven, eight. So we can drop both of these, or we can leave this one in hand to blood rush. Uh, I think I'd like to blood rush. That sounds like right. a good. Uh... Do you want to drop this and leave blood rush back? Uh, I think I want the crocodile down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what's the plan here? The plan is, let's see, plus three, plus one. Uh... What's his uh, his dude over there, his white dude? Is he a 2-1? Yep. Yeah. So we could block and trade with this flyer. It doesn't trade, it just eats it. Oh, fair enough. I think we block like this, and depending on what he does, we... Um, Blood rush? Blood rush there. Okay. What are you gonna play? You must have a trick. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus two plus one until end of turn, so it's becoming a four two. So we can Is it affecting all of his creatures or just that white? Just that one. I still think I want a blood rush here to um, trade with this. Okay. Oh, it's attacking creature. Okay. Apparently we're stupid. Well, 
how this isn't going very well. Three. I dropped the shaman. And a three one. Uh, sure. Apparently my use of blood rush isn't a very aggressive deck and never thought about blocking. I thought we were the aggressive deck. No, no, my point is I've used it a lot in a red deck I have, and I should have known that it doesn't work on defending, but it just never occurred to me. Probably never, um, never came up. No, it didn't. All right, well, we're not keeping a... Um, Why don't we sack the clue stone and draw a card? Do uh, we need because, an extra land? Because we can't. Why can't we? Well, we can't right now, but... Oh, yeah. This just got really bad. Hmm. Is it still... I didn't get to read it, because I can't... Yeah, it excels these until this dies. So we're pretty much just dead then. Yeah. Let's see what we topped that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, might as well do that and see what we get. Yeah, I say we can see save the clock. I am not normally an advocate of concession, but th we can't. Um, I would like to use the trick that we just learned to. Um, He's swinging in for 10 next turn, so. Well, this turn, so. Never mind. And what's that trick we just learned? See if he shows us any more of his deck. Oh, well, it didn't matter because he had lethal on board. Okay. Mm. I don't know that there's much to do. I mean, the deck seems okay. We just made a big mistake and kept a really bad. Hand. Yep. So. I think you're right. I think we run it back. Okay. See if we do any better. Good thing this channel is all about learning, not about already being at a professional level. Yeah. Especially with sets that we don't play. Yes, we'd like to play first. And that is okay. I say keep it. Sure. play if we don't have land. Something small. Or more land. Or more land. Sure. So you just want to play this? I think I just want to play this. If we don't get anything else to play, yeah. then yeah.
Interesting. I'm trying to avoid the thought of, do we have too much? It is an 18 land deck. So it's possible. We could think about adding another um, small thing and taking out a land. Mm -hmm. He's got nothing. I'm good with that. Not another land. Not another land. I don't know, we could use one more for explosive impact. I know, I just would like to get another. Lobster crew. <laughs> Alright, sure. Swing for three. Drop the Ivy Lane Dunson. Sure. It's okay. Fun. Yep. We can uh, explosive impact it. We can, if we want. And just offer to trade with it too. And then giant grow. Yep. Or that. Doesn't have reach. It can't help us get rid of the flyer. No, but if he doesn't block, then we can drop both of these. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. So I'll just leave his creature alone. I just take the three that it's going to be coming in. Well, we can't cast this yet. We need one more land. No, no, I know. Alright. Swinging with both of these. Okay. And do we giants grow fit? Oh, too late, right? I was going to suggest Giant's Growth and just get in for another four. Um, we can do that next turn. What do we want to put the plus one on? Um, death touch? Make it a two, three? Sure. Sure. Keep him around a little longer, maybe. Maybe. We're in a much better position. <laughs> Yeah. It's a tap ability? Yep. Cool. So we need to remember before the end of his turn to tap it. Not this turn because it's summoning sick act oh. treason. Okay. Sure. That sucks, but what do you do? That just doesn't seem like a very good act of treason target to me. I think he's just getting in for whatever? I don't know. I guess. Yeah. It's just like I'm not blocking him. It just tells me he doesn't have much else to do. Yeah. Probably. Trying to close the gap a little bit? Mm-hmm. Is fine. He may have a uh, untap creature and put a plus one. Nope. Pit fight. Oh. You monster. Alright, so the question is do we want to keep. We want to giant growth that so that it survives this combat so we get it back. But it will kill our other creature. Yeah, it's going to kill our other creature anyway. Alright, then let's do that. <laughs> it's sneaky. I like that. A little bit. We couldn't do it the other way because this has death touch. Yeah. But, uh... That's pretty good. Oh. That. Oh. Hello. Okay, let's put that on our death toucher. Yeah? 
Yeah. yeah. All right. And then we swing in with everything. Cast for white, white, black, that. White, white. Doesn't matter. Excellent. I like that a lot. And in response to that, I'm going to tap that to deal damage so that it untaps. That's pretty sweet. Yup. Uh, if only we could. Yeah, that's okay. Next I like turn. this. I like this play better anyway. So we can tap our dude at the end of his turn and hit him again. Yep. Okay. That's that's annoying. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Plink, 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 plink. If we draw a land next turn, he's just dead. Yeah. So he's going to arrest something. Probably this. That's okay. That makes me sad, but whatever. Yep. Okay. Don't forget to pink. <laughs> pink. Remember what I said about no land? Okay, you can give us the land now. Yeah. he doing end of turn for red, white, green? Hopefully it's not life link. Something with life link. Or, you know, life gain. Derp. Yeah. Destroy target creature that dealt damage. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I don't know that that's a great target for it, but okay. Um, it It is in this case, I think, because it was... Um, Kill the flyer to three damage to him. Because we'll be able to swing in with our flyer over his head. If he doesn't have another one in hand. Yes. Okay. This is an instant, but I'm doing this pre-combat because I don't want him blocking with that. Now can we is our thing not detained this turn? Uh, our flyer is, but this isn't, so I'm just going to swing with this, and he can either trade or, or die. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not going to trade. Is that a 2-2? Two, two? No, ours no, is a 2-3. No, it, it's going to either... Yeah. yeah, he has to block, which isn't a good block for him. No. Alright. Can your four cards save your life? Do you have a flyer to drop down, or something to do to our creature? No. Nope. All right. All right. So, did we see anything now that we want to... No, we don't have any counter, so there's nothing we can do. Um, I'm thinking the land seems all right-ish. Um, I really thought we should take out one, but I don't know. No, we've got a lot of high drops. That's true. Um... Do we want to side in aerial predation against his one flyer? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not when we have flying. Yeah. And burn. Yep, I think we're good. Okay. Good hand, good hand. Choosing Okay. Um yeah. He chose to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. like this hand. We and have a keep this hand. We have a turn two wasteland viper, turn three shaman if we need to, and a turn four um, bird. 
That seems okay. Yep. I would have preferred if that were a um, forest, but I will take the guild gate. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep. This hand keeps getting better. Mm hmm. Well, boo. That's okay. It's all right. The Wasteland Viper can trade with that. Mm-hmm. Did we drop a land? Yep. Okay. Now, do we want to trade, or do we want to drop the Gift of Orzova on our Viper next turn? I think we want to drop it on our Viper. Like, we're either dropping that or dropping that. I prefer to drop the... Yeah, I think so, yeah. too. Because then right. we can drop the um, the bird to trade with him. If we want to. Yeah. Now, we can play back some forces if he wants to, because we're gaining two life. Yeah. At least for a couple of turns until one of us drops something else. Mm-hmm. Wow, he doesn't have anything. Alrighty. Cool. Okay. Um... That's officially enough land. Do we want to attack and blood rush? For we're gonna get in for five. Since he hasn't dropped anything anyway, I think we have a turn to do it. Gain five. I think I think I'd prefer to drop this. Um, because next time we can drop the Pyrewild Shaman as a creature and this will hit for five. Fair enough. Um I just think if we drop something else, he's not going to swing anymore. So it'll I'd just get a but it'll just get a block instead of getting in for damage. If you know what I mean. Yeah, but it would still take this out. Sure. So we'd still have more creatures on the field. All right, that's fine. I know you like getting in for as much damage as possible. Early on, when the deck we've already seen can be really gross. So if enough. he gets any of that that stuff that we saw in the first game, we're boned. Like that flyer. Maybe, maybe not. We have. Um, Better we have hand. Big stuff too. We have better hand this turn. And we have something that can take care of a flyer. Mm, not that four or five. We have the uh, the thing that deals five damage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not disagreeing. We have a death touch flyer. I mean, yeah. worst case. That's true. That's true. Okay, he is going to swing in for two. Okay. Still not uh, blocking. Nope. So we're going to drop the shaman pre-combat. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Oh, okay. Sure. I don't think you read it. Probably not. You probably figured we'd just be swinging in for two with it, so big deal. Yeah. Unless but he has something in hand to deal with it. Which he may. It's entirely possible. Nope. It's a much bigger swing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, next turn... We punish the enemy, kill his, if he doesn't drop anything, kill his creature and swing in with everything. Yep. And that's a game. Yeah. Man, he's stuck on three. That's, that's rough. That's not a fun place to be. No. 
He's got all his colors at least, but mm -hmm. still. No, oh, I had to discard. Oh, I had to discard. Oh. I feel for you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, it's because they don't hit that enter until you <laughs> figure out if he's got some fantastic trick to deal with it. Yeah. That'd be embarrassing. He's thinking it pretty hard, though, so... He may have something. He may just be mathing. Yeah. I don't know what he'd have, but I don't know well enough to know, so... Yeah, I don't... Three sets that I'm not really um, great on. Yeah. I mean, I know... Most of RTR. What's that? Oh, he's, uh. How is he targeting? I guess we're gonna find out. Target okay. creature gets. Plus. Oh. So, okay, so this gets a bigger butt. Yeah. And so he's blocking something. So he bought himself a turn. Yeah. All right. You still swinging with everything? Uh, no, I'm gonna hold the Moa back. Why? Oh, cause that'll trade. That's true. Yeah, that's my thinking. He's got. He's. I don't think he. Ha yeah, he has to block something. So. He has to block this. Yeah. All right, going to two. Get your last draw. If you draw land, maybe you can save yourself. Oh. Ah. Can he play two creatures? That's the question. I don't know. Or can he play a creature with detain? Yeah, that would... A flyer with detain. If he can play a flyer with detain, he's got another turn. No. no. Too bad. Well... I, good on him, though, for yeah. doing everything he could. Absolutely. Um, so that was round one, and it seems to have come out in our favor. Terrible, horrible mistake. We still did okay. Yep. Um, so we'll be back in round two.